This is Hog Farmer Chris from the Hog Farmers Charitable Foundation. And before you start listening to Red Zone in the Lab, check out our Amazon Smile, a simple way to support the Hog Farmers Charitable Foundation every time you shop, and it's no cost to you. We're back! Welcome back to Red Zone in the Lab with Deuce. Welcome back. This is season three of Red Zone in the Lab podcast. We are going to be discussing entrepreneurship, education, black history, health, movies, family, and of course, sports. Please follow, subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Twitter, and our Instagram and Facebook, and also website www.redzonelab.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Red Zone and Lab Podcast. I am beyond Deuce Blackney, and I just want to give you uh, my experience uh, for training camp these last couple of days. So I just want to start out to say um, I understand. I get it. Those um, of you that are just upset with the organization, upset with Dan, um, you know, you just you're tired of being hurt. Uh, you want change. You want Dan gone. I understand and I get all of that. But what I would say about um, Jason Wright, Jason Wright has made some mistakes. You know, he has not been perfect. You know, uh, he's not batting 600 or anything like that. But most of the mistakes that he made, you can say all of the mistakes that he made, he came out and said, yes, I made them and I'm sorry and I'm going to get better. Um, as far as uh, training camp goes, the process of, of you know, the lottery, um, uh, the season ticket holders, the different things like that. That process needs a lot of a lot of work. Um, you know, some people put in for the lottery, uh, didn't get responses back. Uh, I had to keep reach, reaching out to say, you know, was I approved? Uh, can I go? Is it a right ticket? Um, you know, during that process, the person I was working with had left uh, the organization, but. Uh, Thanks for Caitlin McComb. Uh, she's always been there. Uh, I reach out to her. She always can reach out to someone, then they'll contact me. But that process, it needs a whole lot of work. It, it, it really does. It needs a whole lot of work. Um, as far as uh, going to FedEx, I mean, not FedEx. Once I got, once that part was taken care of, right? And I go to training camp. Uh, when you get there for parking, uh, it's it's on rocks, it's on grass, but that process was an A+. Uh, you pull up, you have the staff there waving you to the left. Someone's there is raving, waving you to left. Another person is waving you to the right. People are there waving you to the parking spot. Someone is there at the parking spot guiding you in. That, pro that process was A+. It was A+, uh, arriving, and it was also A+, the party. Uh, the check-in process, which I thought was going to be kind of strange because they, um, it's not uh, electronic, right? It's still paper, so they kind of look at your, your your names. So when you walk up, uh, you give them your name, they give you your, your pass, and then you just go through. That process was an A+, plus, no issues at all. Um, you get there. Uh, it, there's two sections. There's a, uh, I guess, with the season tickets, VIP sections off to the left. Uh, you know, the other section is off to the right. And there's also the media tent where they have the press conferences at. When you walk down the hill before you get down there to the left is where Julie Donison and, and her team uh, does their um, does their training camp show. You can actually see them and you know when they on breaks they'll sign autographs so that process was cool uh there's a team store a uh, mobile vehicle that's there it has like most of all of the um products and merch you can get online 
And then when you get there, like the staff, you know, those were in yellow, the, the guest services staff, they were all awesome. Uh, they was directing traffic. They were, you know, um, letting you know how the process works. They would even talk to the players or like I say, any of the staff, you want to get an autograph when it's really not autograph time to say, hey, look, this fan wants an autograph. I mean, they were they were awesome. They were gay, great. The VIP section was great. Uh, it's a tent, it's, it's, it's um, temperature control, so it was cool. You could go in there for rain and so forth. Um, you know, it's and, and the training camp was really intimate. I know there was a uh, a picture that was posted from um, Nikki about training camp with no one really being there. Um, I wasn't there that day, but I'm really curious. I don't know if she ever followed up to, to say like what time that picture was taken because if you get there around like 8.30, 8, 8.30, it's really filling in. It's really not a lot of people there. It's kind of sparse. But by the time 9.30 gets there, 9.45, because practice begins at 9.00, um, it's not packed, right? But it's real intimate. And it's, there are no like gaps. There are no empty spaces. So there are people there. Um, you know, fans are there uh, just having a good time. It's a real intimate process. You know, you can talk with the coaches. You can yell their name out. You know, they'll yell. I mean, they'll you know, turn around and wave. Um, like all that process was, was great. Um, being in a position, you want to do videos, take pictures, interacting with other fans. That process was was, was great. Um, seeing the players come out, stretching, uh, you know, all of that process was great. Over there where the injured players are rehabbing, you know, they're over there on the, on, on the VIP side. Outside of the VIP tent, there's like some little turf. It's like a football field turf. Some of the kids out there just throwing passes, just having a good time. Um, and the players that's on a pup, they're kind of close to that. So, you know, they'll come over, like Chase came over a couple of times, say what's up to the fans, other players that was over there. Um, so the, all, the, all that process was great. The practice was great. Um, Tuesday, they was on uh, both fields. Um, they did 11-11 close to the fans, but today they were kind of on the opposite field. And I'm thinking that's because of the game planning. Uh, for this weekend's preseason game. But all that process was good. The autograph process was good. There was no pushing, no shoving. Players came over, staff came over, uh, former players that was there came over, signed autograph for the kids, for the, for the adults. Everyone was excited. Like that whole process was good. The whole, the whole training camp experience was awesome, especially for me the, these last two days. I didn't have um, any, any issues. I didn't see people having issues guest services they were nice speaking to you you know no one was rude the players were great they wasn't rude even if they couldn't sign autograph they say yeah you know it's hot you know if i can go they'll still sign a few you know they'll sign a few especially the little the babies the kids that's yelling out their names they made sure to get to all of them and it, it was real it was really um respectful uh you saw a lot you was able to see a lot there was nothing hindering your vision everything was open um uh, the media had the media tent over there where they do the press conferences all, all that was good so all in all the experience at training camp for me it was awesome it was an awesome um experience i'm glad i was able to experience that so you'll see some of the, the pictures that i took and you know just just some content from training camp it's not a lot because i had i was just having so much fun so um ron rivera jason wright julie donison um caitlin uh, everyone, all, all of you guys over there, you, you, you're doing a good job. You're trying to build back up what we once had. Um, but I thank you. I thank you so much for the experience. This is Red Zone, the Lab Podcast.